The CDC is investigating a rare and mysterious outbreak of severe hepatitis in children. The World Health Organization has identified more than 170 cases in 12 countries. At least one child has died. Joining us now, Dr. Lena Alrabati, pediatric transplant hepatologist at Stanford Children's Health. And we're talking about rare cases of severe liver inflammation. How concerned should parents be at this point and what symptoms should we look out for? At this time, there is no reason for parents to be overly concerned as hepatitis in children is still uncommon. Signs and symptoms of acute hepatitis in children would include things like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, associated with yellowing of the skin and eyes, bruising, white stools, and dark urine. And if a child was to present with these symptoms, then it would be recommended for the family to consult with their primary care physician for further evaluation. And how serious is it if children do get hepatitis? Hepatitis is inflammation in the liver, which can occur from many causes. Most of the time, an acute hepatitis can make a child feel sick, but rarely progress to liver failure. If a child does progress to liver failure, then that can be dangerous, as in many situations, liver transplantation is required as a life-saving measure. And many of the children had a common infection called adenovirus. Is it common for that to lead to hepatitis? Adenovirus is an infection that can occur in children and adults. It's usually short-lived. It presents with fever, cold-like symptoms, and diarrhea. It's not common for adenovirus infection to lead to a serious hepatitis and liver failure. And that's really the reason why the CDC and WHO is, is doing this ongoing investigation. And do health experts have any idea what could be causing these cases? Not currently. The CDC is investigating uh, adenovirus 41 and the relationship of, of that adenovirus to these hepatitis cases. Do the hepatitis A and B vaccines protect against hepatitis from adenoviruses? The hepatitis A and B vaccines are protective to children from serious forms of hepatitis against hepatitis A and B infections. It doesn't prevent adenovirus infections. Any steps parents can take to protect their children from hepatitis? The best way for parents to protect their children is to ensure that their children have up-to-date vaccinations and then using protective measures, which would include things like hand washing, staying away from sick people, and covering coughs and sneezes and so forth. All right, Dr. Lena Al-Rabadi with Stanford Children's Health. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time.